This is my 1987 Ford Club Wagon 150. Uh, as you can see, it's the Club Wagon. Uh, and it's uh, got the barn doors on it and stuff. It used to be a church van. Uh, and it lived its whole life just pretty much carrying kids back and forth to church or to Bible study or something like that. It was just used in ministry. And I got it for almost nothing. Uh, it's in great shape for a van that's that old. It's got one little rust hole at the bottom of the front door there. The other side is good. Um, the paint's a little faded, but it can be repainted. Uh, when I first got it, I was not really sure what I was going to do with it. I used it. All of the wood that I built my garage with was hauled in this van. It can haul, uh, with the doors shut, it can haul a 12 foot long board. So that's pretty good. A pickup truck can't do that. You know, you have to hang it out of the back. Um, when I first got it, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but um, I've decided now that this is going to be my camper. I always wanted a van for a camper. I put the I'm going to have to redo that. I've just got that kind of screwed to the door. Had to have a place for the spare because I did use up pretty much all the space in the <laughs> van. But, uh, show you what I've got going on inside. It is, the floor is a little dirty because I've been using it for work. Um, because of the cooking of ability and stuff like that okay what we have is basically we have a couple of seats that came out of an old rv uh that was getting redone so they took out the old seats and i took them and put them in here and I'm going to figure out a way to put a table between them. It, uh, the problem is, it's not as, this is not as wide this way as what that table and set really needs. But the first iteration I had for this van was I had a couch that went all the way across. I'll put up a slideshow at the end of this video to show how it looked before. But I didn't really like that. I like this a lot better, and that is comfortable to sit back there. And you have a little lamp. Uh, kind of lights everything up pretty good. <laughs> kind of fancy looking. Uh, a closet right there to put, well, the battery and the inverter are in there. And it's a closet for clothes and also... You know, whatever else you want to store. It's pretty good size space to store stuff. Uh, it's not really all finished yet. It, there's a lot more to do. Um, I don't have a refrigerator yet. But I have that cooler and I took a couple pieces of pipe. <laughs> pipe couplings. And I put them on with drywall screws. They're not, it's real thin plastic so it's not super strong. But it works. <laughs> That's my refrigerator, kind of. Okay, here is the the sink and the cabinet inside here. I've got a microwave and there's a little butane camp stove right here in this little case. You can set that right up, right up here to cook. Oh yeah, there's a TV. Um, I also have a little small, let me get that all the way back in there, see everything is pretty tight, and sorry about the lighting, this phone doesn't actually have a light on it, I got little drawers in there and I got my utensils and stuff in it, the microwave, the microwave works of course, powered by the inverter, that is very handy at work. I can have a hot meal. <laughs> have the sink to wash dishes in. I don't have a pump on it yet, but I'm going to put a pump 
that uh, pumps water from a little tank inside here. And right now the drain just drains into. See, I got these little latches on everything that I that I want to keep from moving. It just drains down into that little thing. I got my little. It's it's a pump, a bilge pump for a boat. I'm gonna put that into another one of these containers, and I just haven't got it finished yet. But there will be updates. There's dirty dishes in the sink because I've been using it. Okay, I didn't show you my little. Uh, <laughs> my little set of drawers here. This is cheap plastic drawers. Um, I've got my in this one. I have my DVD remote, and there's a vacuum gauge in there for some reason. Uh, got food in that one a little bit. DVDs down there. There is storage under these. Uh, pretty good size storage I have fabric put up for curtains and in the back I have this one that goes all the way across because the back is going to be my shower and bathroom open the doors put a tarp over top of the doors like this and that will be my shower area and you can just pull this pull this wire loose and this whole thing just drops down. I'll probably have to back up. <laughs> uh, okay. That gives you a little more privacy back there. And also, if somebody were to be taking a shower back there, you wouldn't see them. The TV mount. I did not buy a mount to mount the TV to the wall with but it swivels out like that to where you can watch it and it works great for this small of a space it works great it's a computer monitor I got an adapter from Amazon to adapt it to where the DVD player will work on it and I took plumbing pipe and I made me a I put me a piece of wood on the back of course and I made me a swivel and it works really well. I got a little clamp on the side over here that holds it against the wall. So when you turn it around, the whole thing clamps in. And once it's clamped in, that won't go anywhere. It'll sit right there. And I've lost focus. There we go, that's a little better. Yeah, it'll just sit right there. Have a coat hanger for a... <laughs> I mean, it works. <laughs> but I've got a coat hanger for a uh, paper towel holder. I just cut it in half in here and slip it over it. I got uh, dishwashing stuff here. And bottled water to rinse stuff with because I don't have the water hooked up yet. Okay, now that front seat, I want to make that swivel. Uh, right now, I can unbolt four bolts on the bottom of it. Just They're just hand tight right now. And I can just pick it up and set it around the other way. And it works good for that, you know, because you got more room like that. Um, ceiling is a little low. <laughs> but you get used to it. And cooking, you're probably thinking, well, that would be hard to cook with the um that surface so low and you can't stand up and all that i'll have a solution for that too as you can tell kind of there's something going on here it's like what's that you can't use that door anymore can you well you can that's what this is for that's why i took this little bracket and bent it in that shape because, unlatch the door, pull the whole thing out, it pushes into that and latches in so it won't go nowhere. And you have your kitchen on the outside. This right here, I need to repaint. This right here was uh, before I got my latches. I had some magnetic latches inside 
and they really didn't hold when you went down the road these doors kept flying open and I finally got sick of it and I just took a piece of wood that was about well you can see how wide it was put a screw through the middle of it and then I would twist it and then I could open my doors but it was scratching my doors up I haven't fooled with painting it back but it was scratching my doors up so I wanted something different so I went to Lowe's and I picked up these and these work great and that for now is it as far as what I've done uh, my power system I could show you that because you can tell I have power because the 110 volt light is on back there okay swivel this around and open the closet up and yeah it's got a bunch of junk in here where I've been I'm still working on it and stuff I got some clothes hung up in there I'm gonna make a rod that goes all the way across to um, hang more clothes of course um, I have there is the power inverter it's a 1500 watt inverter running off of that battery and this lead runs up to the engine compartment to the other battery I haven't done it yet but I'm going to put a solenoid on it to isolate this battery from the one in the front because I don't want to run the starting battery down I also need to build a box around this battery and vent it outside the van I mean there's a lot of stuff still to do but I got it set up right now where what I do is when I want to use it and uh, I'm going to be in here for a while I'll pop this window open I figure that gives me some ventilation that battery can vent out that way but that's not the way you're supposed to do it you're supposed to have it in a sealed box vented to the outside and that will happen it just hadn't happened yet okay shut this I'm not the best carpenter so my angles are not right but as long as it works and it's not finished I mean there is some more things that I'm going to do to it um, for example I'm going to mount a rack on the back of it that's going to hook to these hinges and the tire is going to mount to one side of it right where it's at and I'm going to use an old dolly is what I'm going to use and it's going to come over this way I may end up having to move my plate yes I have historic tags on it because it's over 25 years old um, if I could mount the rack to where it would close over here and latch and then the whole thing would swing out I could have a box mounted on this side to have more storage and stuff stuff that I don't want to keep inside the van like maybe a grill propane tanks stuff like that gasoline I really wouldn't want to keep that inside the van so I would rather put it back here in a box and make it to where it swings up and swings out of the way then when you open the doors you'll see that there's a latch right here you'll see that this part right here if I can back up far enough this part right here that is a separate room this would make an excellent shower right here all I have to do I have an old awning and I'm going to cut it to lay across on top right here and it will enclose this area oh I also have to do something with this gap probably more awning material or something not sure yet but I have to close this gap because you know somebody can see you through there and this will be basically the bathroom um, I have a little portable toilet thing uses a five gallon bucket and all that kind of stuff and that will be the toilet and then you can put that up and you can use this for a shower now my idea for the shower I'm going to put a pipe I've saw this in other videos 
on top uh, like a four inch plumbing pipe and run it the length of the van I may even double it run it down the length of the van put two 90s on it and bring it back and I'm going to put a fitting that I can hook a um, a shower head to basically and just leave it pointing down and I'm going to paint it black because that way it will heat up the water inside I can fill it up with water heat it up I could even like one guy did I could even put a tire valve in it and pressurize it that way I have pressurized water coming out from my shower but I haven't got to that yet but I will and I will document it I'll, I'll share with you all as I get it and maybe you can use some of these ideas if you want to build one or you can critique and tell me what I did wrong on my build you know I mean that's the whole reason for putting it up if there's something that I'm doing that is going to be detrimental to the design uh, let me know you know because I this is the first camper van I've ever built so uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong you know so if you see something I'm doing wrong and you would like to let me know feel free to um, if you like the design also the same thing uh, let me know I'd like to know if I'm doing it right too <laughs> um, but I think I'm gonna like using this to camp out of I think this would be a good little van to take places I've drove it uh, I think the farthest I've drove it is a thousand miles and it didn't even give a hiccup it was perfect this van has been meticulously maintained the engine has been taken care of like you wouldn't believe <laughs> so I'm very happy with it uh, thank you for watching and let me know your opinions ideas uh, what you think about it